Hey guys, welcome back to our Texas Homestead. Today we're gonna to make some sausage gravy for those nice biscuits I just made. So, bring you in, show you how to do it. Pretty easy. All right. So we got quite a bit of sausage drippings left. A lot of grease, which is good, okay? Now, I've got it on low. Just take a little bit of flour. This is actually a quarter of a cup, okay? I don't put all of it in at once. Then I have two and a half cups of milk. This pan is hot because I just got done cooking sausage with it. Get all that flour mixed in. Shouldn't have to whisk it. A lot of times if you're using a slotted spoon, you can just press down, sink it, it disintegrates. Now, use all those chunks of sausage that are still stuck to this pan to your advantage. Because this is nothing but flavor. Now, when I make sausage gravy, I always make some thicker pieces of sausage because usually my sausages are that thick when I make them, okay? But I make some thicker pieces so I can just dump in. Now, what you want to do, you want to bring this to a boil, okay? So you're already getting all that sausage flavor, but you still got to add salt and pepper. And how much salt and pepper? How much salt and pepper do you like? It's totally up to you guys. Guess I lost my pepper shaker. Oh, you can watch that come up to a boil while I go find one. And it's probably setting right here somewhere, but I don't see it. What kind of pepper? Does any old black pepper? Let that get there for a minute. Alright. Got my boil on, right? Turn it to low. I may actually have to switch um, eyes on this stove because low is still like super hot for this uh, this freaking front eyelet. See what I mean? The difference between simmer and lava. Usually, if, if I'm starting out fresh after, like, so, hey, I just put some bacon grease in here to make this. 
I will brown that flour to like a roux for the first few minutes. But since my pan was already so hot from cooking bacon, which it should be, and this is how you should be making your bacon, I mean, making your sausage uh, gravy, it's right after you make some sausage, you really don't have to brown it like that, okay? All I'm doing here is just stirring it a little bit. I don't have to stir it this much, but I like to because I don't want anything burnt on the bottom. But it's just nice and you're trying to thicken it up a little bit. And if something happens, you get it. Let's say you have way too much grease and you got it too watery. Add a little bit more flour. Here's one of those nice biscuits from the snowflake biscuits I just made. They're still nice and warm. Couldn't remember. Still got a little steam. But you can tell these biscuits are nice, soft, perfect for gravy and biscuits. Go ahead and shut your heat down. So this doesn't take long. As soon as you get to the consistency that you want, you're good. You already know the sausage is cooked. Everything else is ready to go. Guess I'll save a little sausage for everybody else. If you want it a little thicker, cook it longer. That's up to you. This is your meal. This is my meal. Okay? Make it how you want to eat it. No, not how everybody else wants you to eat it. I mean, I don't want you to fight that at the store or at the restaurant. But restaurants cost too much. And eating at home, this is a meal that doesn't cost you a lot. Mmm. Mmm. So good. That sauce is gravy. It was so good, I bit my lip. Guys, easy, super easy sausage gravy. Easy to make. Showed you how to make biscuits. What else do you need? Glass of sweet tea. And you're set. I'm going to be here eating this for a while. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you next time on our Texas Homestead. Thanks, guys.